age. At what age do you have to feel confident? At what age can you be stylish? At what age do you get to go to the store with a parent, with yourself, and do what you'd like at that store and buy what you'd like? Ageless is what that comes down to. You can do these things at any age. And today, we are going to do Le Chateau and make Le Chateau ageless. One thing you already are, and one thing we're going to continue you being. Welcome, my name is Patrick Suter. This is Amanda Grokowicz and my other teammate, Omar Itani. And today, we are going to position Le Chateau to achieve revenue and target market objectives. This is for you. Now, we will be going through an overview and a recommendation of where we are today, as well as an analysis and implement with Amanda today where we are going into the future and how we are going to position Le Chateau in, to achieve these revenue and target market objectives that you have set forward. Our recommendation for you today is to enhance the current strategy of Le Chateau. Your current strategy has worked very well over the past three years of positioning yourselves as an ageless brand in the market and putting yourself in that. We are going to enhance that through a target market of a stylish, confident person who is looking for that, that wear of both day, night, work, personal, all over the board. Going through merchandise, we are going to cut down the amount of merchandise in each store, but broaden the spectrum of each style for each item. The reputation, we're looking for that ageless reputation to go into the market again and to continue that. And we're going to, Amanda will talk and talk about the store layouts and how they are going to close in size, stay open, and multiply at the same time. To go into our analysis today, I will be looking at the internal side. Now, as we look through this diagram here, we work on the left-hand side and the internal forces of the, end of, the, of the company, starting with management preferences, organizational capabilities, and resources, how they feed into the overall strategy of Le Chateau. Omar will take care of the environment as well as finances and how the environment influences the strategy as we go forward today. So building on projects on the internal and external, I'm going to focus on the external aspect and some opportunities and how the environment influences the strategy. We know from the buyer perspective, we need to understand the habits of those, of those buyers. There's three different generations, the baby boomers, Generation X, Generation Y. Generation Y is from 20 to 30, uh, 30 years of age. Generation X sits in between, it's from 30 to 45, and then you get the 45 plus, which are the baby boomers. Now, the baby boomers are looking for that youthful look. They want to feel young again. They're looking for that trendy, you know, feeling young look. Generation X, they're more materialistic. They're, they're affluent. They have the money. They want to go out and spend it. Generation Y is focusing on that trendy look. They want the latest trend in the market, and they want it fast. And they're living that fast, very fast-paced lifestyle that you've gone to. So they're looking for that everyday trendy look. They have high spending power. We know that's a fact, and they want to spend that money. So they're looking for quality material. So overall, all three generations are looking for that youthful, uh, youthful look and trendy look. So where does this uh, position look so to in comparison to the competition? There's two things to look at here. We're looking at the positioning at the, at the same time. We need to look at the, the perception of the buyer of Le Chateau and in comparison to its competition. Le Chateau sits here, we looked at this in entire spectrum, we looked at from the years of 20, 25, 30, 35, and 40 and above, and you see that Le Chateau, from the perception of the buyer, sits on, in that younger, um, younger spectrum of the age of 25, 26, 24. Looking at it, main competitor, which is Gap, they sit at that more classical stage of 30, but they have a wide spectrum in that their, their product appeals to everyone. And this is exactly what Le Chateau does. It's ages, and it, it, although it's perceived as young, but it does address all the different ages. So where does this put us in comparison to competition, uh, in the industry, in comparison to comp uh, sorry, excuse me, competition? We're looking at quality and price. Le Chateau is high quality. At the same time, they have high prices. Well, I would, not exactly high prices, but prices competitive with the competition. So they offer competitive pricing, excellent quality, so it's focused on this bracket, and their main competitors would be Gobs and Banana Republic. Today, we understand that the strategy, and your strategy, as Le Chateau, 
comes down to three ideas, a market focus, a competitive advantage, and differentiation. Your market focus, as we understand it, is quality, high quality in your industry, as well as high end in the middle market and looking forward in the US, Canada, and Middle East with the large focus in Canada as you are a Canadian company. And you know that this has worked in the past years. Your competitive advantage sits as fast fashion. The ability to get that design to market and each month have a revolving door of styles in your stores so that your customers are up to date on the trends and they are ready for you and they are coming back. A vertically, vertically integrated value chain is another part of your competitive advantage. This fast fashion idea is possible because you are able to hold the idea in your organization from start to finish, from the moment it is designed to being, to being built, to going out to the market, and to being sold. This is all part of Le Chateau as a, as a company. And you're differentiating yourself based on this ageless confidence and the quality of your of your garments. We are competing on that quality, trendy products, and that this is why Le Chateau is ageless. Now we're going to take this into the internal part of the industry. First of all, looking at the resources and the organizational capabilities of Le Chateau and what that is. Now what we can see here, the main connection between Le Chateau's resources and organizational capabilities is your value chain that we just spoke about as one of your main strengths and competitive advantages. Keeping that value chain strong and keeping that within the organization. There are location, in terms of resources, the locations across Canada as well as the one in New York City and moving into the Middle East, as well as your financial health that Omar will speak about, and the human capital, this large sales force that is on the floor every day engaging with the customers is a strong asset to the company because they are the ones that are selling your product every single day. Now looking at the organizational capabilities, the design to market speed, that ability to get the design straight to the market as quickly as possible, one of the leaders in the industry actually is able to do that, you are able to do that, and take that further that monthly turnover as opposed to the seasonal turnover. And the leadership qualities that come from you, that come from above, that do demonstrate, the, demonstrate the vision and the values of the organization right straight through. It is this integrated value chain that enhances the strategy of Le Chateau. Now to look at the management preferences. These are what you want through your organization and that we see aligned very well with the strategy that you have in place and we are going to use these to enhance the strategy as we go into the further ages of Le Chateau. First list, this, firstly, this ageless target market. The target market, which is situated built by fabricating smaller, younger clothes, but is actually marketing to the entire broad spectrum because everyone we know wants to feel young. And at Le Chateau, we can make that happen. However, everyone is welcome in our stores. The up-to-date trends that I've been speaking about, this ability that trends are always updating and we understand in a world of fashion that is continually evolving, management preferences of Le Chateau state that it is an up-to-date trend going forward. As well, this val the value chain that you have created, creating those efficiencies because it is a full value chain in the company. Quality, keeping that high quality as we go forward and actually augmenting that, which Amanda will talk about in the implementation, and a focus on fashion. Le Chateau is not a teenage store. Le Chateau is a fashion store. So with these clear management preferences, we are able to definitely define our target market as an ageless target market. So the question here stands, is, it work, is this strategy working for us? Well, we need to look at those financial indicators. Look at previous records to see where we're going. First up is sales. Looking from the years of 2005 up to 2009, the last five years, sales started around 250 uh, 250 million in 2005. And as you can see in that top left corner, the first graph, the line is increasing. That means the sales are increasing gradually year by year at a consistent, um, consistently. However, looking at the growth rate, you can see from 2005 is around 16 and it simply fluctuates around 10 and 11. There is a decline in that growth rate. However, overall, on, over those four years, the growth rate is sitting at 9%. On average, it's growing up by 9%. So sales are increasing, the growth rate is, is uh, consistent. So projecting to the future from 2010, 11, 12 to 13, you can tell that this new strategy will further increase those sales uh, at a rate of 7 to 8%. Now, 